What's going on guys, The Arakan here, back with our Dragon Ball The Breaker Season 2 video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what skills you should be upgrading for Ape Vegeta. So I've, um, my Ape Vegeta isn't that high level, but I've kind of put some points in certain skills to see, like, how good upgrading certain skills are and how bad upgrading certain skills are. So I kind of just want to go through which ones um, you should go through and bother upgrading. First off, I want to show you guys, uh, hold on, let me pause really quick and I'll be right back. First off, I wanted to show you guys which um, levels you can even upgrade at all. So you can upgrade the first stage, which is the Cybermen, the second stage, the third stage, and you cannot uh, upgrade Great Ape, so you don't have to worry about the Great Ape. Um, I really wouldn't really recommend upgrading anything for the Cybermen, just because it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Like, shared intel is definitely interesting and something you could upgrade. It basically gives you a, a higher search radius. So when survivors are close to the little Cybermen in the ground, the, they don't have to be as close for you to know where they are. That's useful for sure, but like, you can fail as a Cyberman, you'll still get Nappa. You could fail as Nappa and still get Vegeta. So you don't really, I wouldn't invest that much into the Cybermen or even Nappa just because you can fail with the two, uh, with level one and level two and get Vegeta. So you, I wouldn't really like stress out too much. And just to kind of show you guys uh, what it'd be like, because I feel like the best move the Cyberman has is regrowth. It's going to be your opportunity to uh, catch a survivor off guard, pop up on them, and then land the self-destruct uh, move on them. I upgraded it once, and it chipped off 5 milliseconds. 5 milliseconds. Uh, not 5 seconds, 5 milliseconds. So I don't think upgrading regrowth is worth it at all. And Acid as an ability has a low cooldown already. So technically this could be good to upgrade, but don't. I'm talking like if you upgrade everything else that I'm going to talk about in a moment, maybe you could come back to this just because Acid has such a low cooldown, but I wouldn't really recommend it uh, in general. Wall Kick. Are you really wall kicking that much of Cyberman? Maybe you are. Maybe the high tier um, 8 Vegeta Raiders are, but I don't really think this is something that's worth upgrading, right? So the Scouter, honestly, if it's not the, the best ability to upgrade uh, for this Raider, it, it is definitely up there just because it's the one move that is shared between Nappa and Vegeta. So this is going to impact Nappa and Vegeta respectively. So uh, by upgrading it one time, it increased the, the cooldown or decreased the cooldown time by 10 milliseconds. So already better than it was for regrowth. And it actually increased the effective rage of it as well from 0.5% to 1%. So if you guys upgrade the Scouter, that's definitely not a bad uh, ability to do. Uh, for the planning the Cyberman ability, I wouldn't really recommend it either just because how often are you really doing this? I mean, there's definitely those Raiders out there that camp uh, down survivors and they just plant like five on a down body, which is kind of lame. Guys, shame on you, I'm wagging my finger. You know who you are, stop doing that. Stop, you're ruining everybody's fun, man. Anyways. It basically uh, it's the same thing with the Cyberman. It just uh, means that survivors don't have to get as close to where you dug a Cyberman in the ground for them to be found. Uh, call Cyberman. Uh, this is basically Cyberman. I don't know why I said Cybermom like I'm Jamaican. Uh, call Cyberman is basically like Zarbon Dodori with Frieza. Uh, you just call Cyberman. They just search and uh, survey an area and they can shoot out and attack. Uh, is this worth upgrading? I mean, this is situational, right? Say if your Cyberman dies. You won't even have this so imagine upgrading something that you might not even have i would not upgrade this for that reason alone so key explosion is your knockback ability with nappa and it actually isn't shared with vegeta because technically they have different knockback abilities so i wouldn't really recommend it here with nappa just because uh you're going to be playing with vegeta the most so you should probably be investing the least amount of skill points into the first and second stage of this raider that being said, if you were going to upgrade anything with Nappa besides the Scouter, I would recommend upgrading uh, You Better Make This Fun For Me just because this increases your evolution energy while you damage survivors. So this means um, while you're attacking survivors, whether it be Key Blast, Super Attacks, Melee Combos, what have you, you'll be getting, uh, you'll be getting uh, evolution energy to get Vegeta faster. So that's just one less civvy you might have to find one less survivor you'll have to down and basically get you into vegeta faster like i said previously <coughs> 
And this ability, uh, Nappa gains a boost, it's evolution energy. I don't really know, hold on, let me move myself. Sorry, I'm like ducking and dodging. Let me just move myself so you guys can read it. Uh, Nappa gains a boost to evolution energy and can use this skill, the active skill call Simon when evolution energy is maxed out. I'm not really sure how this one works. Uh, you guys would have to let me know in the comments below how this one works because I don't really understand what this means. Uh, just to read it to you guys. Nap gains a boost to evolution energy and can use the active skill Call Sideman when evolution energy is maxed out and he is brought into battle. So maybe this means that you start off with some evolution energy if your Cyberman lives. If that's the case, this sounds like a situational passive as well. So in terms of passives that, or actives that aren't situational, that would be Scouter and it'd be uh, you better uh, make this fun for me. So I feel like these are definitely the best active skills and passive skills to upgrade for Nappa. And then potentially this passive skill. And honestly, beyond that, I really want to touch anything else on Nappa. Oh, so in my chat saying that you gain a little bit of evolution energy when you call the Cybermen? Maybe. Maybe that's how it works. If that's the case, that's not bad. You get a little evolution energy for free. Okay. Um. So Vegeta has the... The scouter just as Nappa does, so obviously this is something that I'd recommend you upgrade. But uh, Vegeta, of course, has the Power Ball, which I imagine everybody in their mother wants to go ahead and upgrade immediately, uh, because this starts at 740 seconds um, at base. So that means seven minutes and 40 seconds until you get to use the Power Ball here. So I upgraded it three uh, three times. That chipped off 10 milliseconds. So just to do quick math here, let me be right. Actually, I think it would chip off only like a second, right? Say if you upgrade this all the way, it would be 738. And then another, it would be 737. So 740, 737. Is that really worth it? I don't think so. Um, at a glance, this is probably what people would want to upgrade. But when you uh, put it out like that, I don't really think it's worth it here. So Cole Napa situational right if Nappa dies you won't be able to call him so I wouldn't really uh suggest upgrading this and plus I just did it for uh giggles here it only chipped off five milliseconds so I really don't think it's uh worth upgrading here either uh I also did the explosive wave here it chipped off uh 10 milliseconds so if you upgraded this 10 times or max it out it would be 27 seconds I believe if my math is right uh, you guys can let me know in the comments below if I'm if I'm wrong there. So this ability I think is one you could upgrade down the line because obviously no matter uh, if you're successful with Cyberman, with Nappa or not, you're going to be playing as Vegeta, win or lose. So this ability will come into play when you want to break away combos. So down the line, this is something that you could upgrade, but I wouldn't recommend doing it from the get-go. So moving on here, we have an ability that we can't upgrade, another one that we can't upgrade. And uh, these two are the only passive abilities that you can upgrade as Vegeta. So if you are going to upgrade anything with Vegeta, I think this is the first thing you want to do uh, in terms of Vegeta's side. This reduces the cooldown time for the Power Ball active skill when you damage a survivor. So when you uh, damage survivors, this will basically increase the, uh, the cooldown reduction. So say it chips off like a second per damage. It, based off this percentage, it could be 5 seconds, 10 seconds, or more based off uh, your upgrading of this ability. So I feel like uh, for people that really, really, really want to play 8 Vegeta specifically, I mean the 8 form, right? Uh, this is definitely the ability that you want to max out immediately. Immediately plug in the most points for this ability um this ability is cool i think it you know occasionally will serve a purpose but this is very 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 situational so when you summon shenron with vegeta he actually has a unique uh wish where he summons a full moon and it actually makes your uh your map whatever map you're playing on uh turn the night uh nighttime which is really cool but uh normally you don't get healed by doing that uh by upgrading this ability you'll get a little heal as well but normally most people i mean it, you can't lose as eight vegeta it's not like it's impossible but the likelihood of you losing as eight vegeta is pretty low and you also getting all the dragon balls 
uh, to turn into uh, the ape form is very rare as well. So this is a very, very, very situational passive skill that I don't really recommend you upgrading at all. So in terms of abilities, just to go over things again, for people that really want to be ape, really, really want to go Uga Uga Booga, upgrade power of a super elite first, then I would go scouter. I think that's uh, what you want to do. And honestly, after you do scouter, I think uh, you better make this fun. On uh, Nappa is very good to do. It just uh, allows you to get extra evolution energy by damaging survivors, which I think is very useful. Uh, Cybermen, I really wouldn't uh, recommend upgrading anything for the Cybermen. You're, you're going to be playing the Cybermen for the least amount of time. So why even bother, right? So I think for the top three skills, Super Elite, Scouter, and you better make this fun. Uh, beyond that, uh, I guess you could do Powerball. You could, but you could see the milliseconds that have been shaved off. I don't really think that it's worth it. Um, yeah, I think Scouter. Scouter and this passive are definitely the ones that are like interchangeable, which ones are the best. But yeah, guys, I kind of just want to talk about which active skills and passive skills you should focus uh, your skill points since we're in this double XP uh, time frame. You're going to be having a lot of skill points with Vegeta, so don't just use them recklessly because you can't uh, respect them. So uh, hopefully this video helped you uh, decide where you should utilize your points. Let me know in the comments below if you feel uh, my picks were right, if you feel they were wrong, if there were any active skills or passive skills that I should have brought more attention to. Uh, yeah, guys, just let me know and subscribe for more Dragon Ball The Breakers content, whether it be updates, funny moments, gameplay, showcases, all that good stuff. Like the video if you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.